Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager use case tutorial videos. In this use case, we'll be going through the process of creating pages to display specific inventory items through attribute linking on the WP Inventory display shortcode. Attributes are simply the different fields associated with each inventory item, like make or model or year. This process of linking turns the WP Inventory display shortcode into a very versatile tool that will allow you to filter inventory items on different pages per your needs. However, one crucial thing to note is that attribute linking only works with the core fields of WP Inventory Manager and will not work with any custom fields used in Advanced Inventory Management. So for this use case video, we'll be turning off the Advanced Inventory Management add-on. This is a simple process. Simply navigate over to Plugins on the left of your WordPress dashboard, find Advanced Inventory Manager in the list, and hit Deactivate. This will turn off all of the features of Advanced Inventory Manager. However, if we ever wanted to activate them again in the future, we could simply scroll back down, hit Activate, and all of our settings and types that we entered earlier would still be saved and present. In this video, we'll be creating pages to display various specific attributes of our harmonica inventory items. In our last use case video, we imported three different types of harmonicas. However, in preparation for this video, we've added a few more, bringing our total up to six different harmonicas. To start, we'll take a look at our base WP inventory display shortcode. We'll navigate over to pages and view our product inventory page. And we can see that the shortcode is simply WP inventory inside of a few brackets. And this will display all of the products in our product inventory, which we can see if, if we view the page, we have guitars, drums, microphones, as well as harmonicas. So to start, we'll be creating a page to display only the harmonicas. Close out of this. Click to add a new page up here at the top. And name it harmonicas. We'll give it a parent of the product inventory page. And we start with simply the default code. And now we're ready to start linking attributes. You can find a list of examples over on the user documentation of the WP inventory website. But to start, we'll simply link the category attribute so that only harmonicas show up on the page. And when we publish it, and then go view it, we'll see that now only our harmonicas are showing up, and the other inventory items like guitars and drums are not. However, let's say, for instance, we only wanted one brand of harmonicas to show up, in this case, maybe Bushman. We can do that by linking more than one attribute on a different page. So we'll click to add new. Title it Bushman. And give it the parent of the harmonicas page. And we could create multiple pages all under the harmonicas page of different brands if we wanted to. But again, we start with the base WP inventory code. Category equal to harmonica. And we're make is equal to Bushman. Sure, close the bracket and hit publish. And now when we view the page, we'll see that only our Bushman harmonicas have showed up. While we do have three different Bushman models, you'll notice they have very different ears. So let's say we wanted to create a page for Bushman model harmonicas that are older than 2000, so only modern harmonicas. Well, how would we go about doing that? If we check back to the shortcode attribute linking page, in the WP Inventory documentation, we see the very important WHERE attribute. The WHERE attribute does require some knowledge of SQL. And if you're unfamiliar with the process, you may accidentally throw an error if the query is not correct. However, some simple ones are fairly easy to do. For the example here is where price is less than 5,000 and quantity is greater than or equal to three. So we can apply that same principle to a new page. We'll add new and call it modern and give it the parent of the Bushman harmonicas under product inventory. Start, of course, with the base code where the category 
is harmonicas, the make is Bushman, and where the year is greater than 2000. Close the bracket, hit publish, and when we view this new page, we'll see that only our two Bushman harmonicas have showed up. Through these different pages, we're able to filter all kinds of different products and keep it organized through the URL scheme and parent pages. For instance, you'll see up here, it goes product inventory, harmonicas, Bushman, modern. However, we could create all kinds of different pages, such as harmonicas, Seidel, vintage, or something similar where the year is less than 2000 or less than 1950. All of this allows for a very in-depth sorting process, which in turn allows you to provide the people viewing your inventory with a smooth navigation process to find exactly what they're looking for. Thank you for watching this WP Inventory Manager use case tutorial video. We encourage you to view our other tutorial found under the documentation tab on the WP Inventory website. Or, of course, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us on the support tab in your WordPress dashboard. Thank you.